Welcome back to Ready Controls. If you are passionate about automation and control systems, you have come to the right place. In our previous video, we have shown you how to connect to Ignition, SCADA, and Bradley PLCs. We configured a OPC UA connection. And in this video, we're going to take it a step further by mapping PLC tags for our belt conveyor project. By the end of this video, you will know how to effectively map and organize your tags for seamless integration. Let's get started. Before we dig into mapping PLCs, let's quickly recap what we did in the last video. In the last video, we went ahead and configured a connection, OPC connection in the... Once I log in, we created the config section. We went ahead and added a device connection. In device connections, we added our Compact Logix PLC, which is still there. Okay, in this project, uh, in this video, what our ultimate aim is to create a display like this, which will get all the tag status from the PLC. So before doing this one, we'll go ahead and uh, create a new project and try to create this uh, display. Okay, so what I will do, I will go ahead and file. I'm in my Ignition Designer, I'll do file, new, new project. Would you like to save a project in the current Yes, belt conveyor project and try to be belt conveyor and no template, we'll just leave it like that. Parent, we'll just leave everything and create new project. It will go ahead and create a new project for us. In in this project, we, we have vision windows. We are using vision, but we can also use perspective. We want to use perspective, but either way is fine. We'll, we'll just for the sake of learning, we'll go ahead and stick to vision. We'll create a new window, we call it uh, main window, and we'll go ahead and create. Okay, now the window is created. Now, before we do anything, we need to establish a connection to the PLC. If you come down here in the tag browser, we can hit browse devices. As you can see on the Ignition OPC UA server, we could see our Compact Logics PLC and all the tags we have. We can select all of them and move it for the tag provider, but that's not a practical way because they are like thousands of tags in practical and we don't want to overload the bandwidth so we'll only select a few of them for now we will select uh, the some of these like auto cycle start and we could hit select shift and select what we want like that for now and maybe safety is okay we'll go ahead and select all of these tags for now and hit and in here you could organize it better by creating a new folder called main. Okay, I'll create that. Now when I select that and move them, all the 28 tags are staged for import. Once I say okay, apply and okay. Now it created a folder for belt conveyor main and all my tags are listed here. So just to see if these uh, tags are working, uh, we know box presented diverter. So we want to create uh, some kind of a display. We just create a box. So we use a container and we just draw a container here. And for the container color border, we select a border. And then for background color, let's select a blue color. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to display this box on the conveyor. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, save time. Okay. So, and we'll draw a conveyor. We'll take one more container and say this is a conveyor. We can just go ahead and call it conveyor here. And we just make the color of the conveyor, background color, make it like a gray color, light gray so we can see it. So now what all we are trying to do is we want to display that box on the conveyor we have to bring it to the front so let's uh, right click not just send this to back oh here then right here move the selector to in the front or back move in backward so we just click move to back so this moved back and this came front so we just want to display this box whenever the box is present operator station right so we know that we can use the visibility condition based on a tag so we select that one and for visibility we will go back here click this symbol 
and there is no binding right now so we'll go ahead and select tag we do tags provider we created belt conveyor main in this one we want to take box present at operator station select that one and we drill through until you see value and we say okay okay right now the moment we selected it the box disappeared because the visibility condition is no longer true which we know from the plc um, here the value of the tag is box is not present at the operator station so we'll go ahead and uh, select local input data six which is a selector switch on the on the display and once i move the selector switch you should see the blue box come up so we'll go ahead and do selector switch two and the box showed up so that's how uh, we use the visibility condition for the box and that's one example and say for example we want to make the conveyor this is a conveyor and we want to make it green when the conveyor is running then same um, we can do fill so we'll go ahead and show you that for this conveyor you can use the background fill we are using we changing the color property based on condition right so what we do is we go ahead and click this and bind a tag again we go back to now we'll just use conveyor ok run and then value and when the value is one we want to make it green and when value is zero we want it to be gray as usual say okay sorry value one value zero we want to make it gray and value one we want to make it green okay say okay now since the conveyor is not running and it shows the value here like conveyor okay run see it's not check mark that means it's not one so let's see what's the condition in the plc to make a conveyor run yeah we're just waiting on the start button so when start button is pressed the conveyor okay run will come on and then we should see the display change to green so we'll go ahead and push the start button yep so that's how we show the conveyor is running so now the application is done we want to save this one and We'll just keep it simple enough and we close it we save and exit now what we want to do is we once we have the mission vision client launcher installed we'll go ahead and add the newly created application on the gateway we select the gateway and then here is our project called belt conveyor we add that application and now we have the build conveyor so we'll go ahead and select that one and open application it should launch the application in a full window and we can reduce the window size and show you how it looks like we still need to log in once it uh, opens up and we log in with our and it's starting the project I'm starting the project simple example here we can go ahead and test it i can hit the stop push button and the conveyor should stop now and it goes back to think and uh, select a switch one for the box yeah select a switch two for the box and now we say box present the blue button comes on we hit start the conveyor is running so that's it um guys this is the simplest example of how to create uh, a display after you connect your uh, plc tags we have covered how to map the plc tags for the belt conveyor project we map them and we also sh uh, shown you how to organize the tags if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and check our ignition scada playlist for more tutorials thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video